In this video, you're going to learn how to create or clone any website fast and easily using AI. While you might be familiar with many AI website builders, what makes this tool unique is that you will be building your website directly on WordPress. This is a good approach since over 43% of all websites in the world are powered by WordPress, including many large sites and companies. The AI tool that does this is called TenWeb, and you can follow along by clicking the first link in the description below. It has many features as highlighted here on their homepage. You can create or recreate any website, host your website on their server, which is powered by Google Cloud, or optimize your existing website to improve the page speed and core web vitals, which is crucial for ranking on Google these days. Now, if you visit this homepage, you can start for free as stated there, but in reality, you won't be able to test most of the features until you add your card details, which is why I will quickly show you their pricing. They have the business plan, e-commerce plan, and agency plan. Basically, if you need just one website, the business plan is the right one for you, as all the three tiers are tailored for a website, but the option you choose will depend on the traffic you have. So if you are creating a brand new website, you probably want to stick with the starter plan and upgrade later as you get more traffic. However, if you are a pro builder with more websites, you can manage your websites or that of your clients with the agency plan, which is cheaper for three websites and above. And for those who sell online, there is an e-commerce plan for you as well. Just be aware that these are the discounted price for the annual plan. If you decide to go for the monthly plan, you will pay the regular price as shown. But since most website owners pay up front on a yearly basis, that should be a good bargain. And unlike many hosting companies, there are no hidden fees, which means this is the amount you will keep paying for your renewals. So I'm going to log in, and here on my dashboard you can see that it says zero of one website, which is the limit of the starter plan. But if you need more websites in the future, you can add it here on the left, although the agency plan will give you more discount. You have three options to either migrate your website to their server, or build a new one from scratch, or with the help of AI. So I'm going to create a new one using the AI option. Here you can give your site a name which can be modified later, and then you can choose a data center on this dropdown. In simpler terms, this is where your website will be physically hosted, so you may want to choose a location closer to your audience. If most of them are in Europe, choose UK or Germany. If they are in Asia, choose India and so on. So for this example, I will choose the US. Next, if you have a domain already, you can add it here, or you can temporarily use 10 web subdomain, which will be your site name .10web.site, and you can add yours later. I will show you where to do that in a bit, so I will proceed to add a username and password, which is for the WordPress we will be installing, and then click on Create. So 10web will go on and install a fresh WordPress website for you in a minute, which will be hosted on their WP hosting server. I will click on this and we can start creating the website. This is the website dashboard where you can access and modify your site at any time. And the tab we are on now is the AI Builder where you will build the site pages, and there are two routes you can take. You can either click here to clone a website and input the website URL for 10web to recreate it for you, or you can click on this button to generate your site with AI. We will still be able to use the clone feature, so let's proceed with this for now. There are two options here, as you can see, but the second one is grayed out, which is for those with e-com store. So if you need that, you should choose either the e-commerce plan or the agency plan, as I showed at the beginning of the video, and you will be guided through the workflow. But in my case here, I don't need a store, so I'm going with this. Then I will choose a business type here. You can scroll down to find one or simply type your industry here and you can select a related one. I'm designing a digital marketing site, so I will choose this and proceed with it. You can then input your website name and describe what you do in the box below. You may write everything out or type out some keywords relating to your business and ask the AI to enhance it for you. It will write a description for you which you can always regenerate if you don't like it. But I'm just going to go with this. Next, we are asked to add our services, and the AI has pre-filled it for us using the description from the previous step, but you can always edit them if you offer different services. Then we can proceed to choose a tone on the next step, which should be formal in this case, and I'll click on Finalize to create the website pages. That took around a minute, and I can click here to edit it. Now, if you are familiar with this, you will notice that this is loading the Elementor page builder. That is because the 10 web drag and drop website builder is based on Elementor. So let's see what we have here. It has created an accurate heading for us with the description that includes our services and added an AI image of a local business. Scrolling down, we have a featured in section which is useful to increase the trust of our visitors. And next we have a section for our ratings from other platforms. 
Then it created a large section for the three services with descriptions, some features, and benefits, and then the team's profile, which are obviously AI-generated. We have customer testimonials here, all of which can be easily edited. And it even gave us a box for collecting emails, which is pretty accurate for the information I provided, and a good head start to start creating your website. Before editing the site, I will close this and show you how to access it from the dashboard. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pages already built for us, which include the four core pages of any website and our service pages. And to preview any page, you simply need to click on it and you can see how they look from the front end, which is what your visitors will see when they land on your site, and you can click on any of these header elements to navigate to other pages. For instance, this is the service page which showcases the services, but you can also go to the previous tab, and you will find it there by noting the URL, which is the domain name slash services. So if I come back here, you can see the same URL at the top. To edit the pages, simply go to the header, and you will see Edit Page, which is for the native WordPress editor. But since this page is built with 10 Web, you want to click on Edit with 10 Web Builder. This will load up the page, as we saw earlier, and you can modify anything with their easy-to-use editor. So you can edit the texts like this on the page, or here on the left bar, and you can also click here to write with AI. So I can choose any of these commands, maybe I should make it shorter, and the AI will write a short description of our services. That's not all though, you can go to the AI and click on New Prompt to generate other copy or content for your site. For buttons like this, you can add a link to them on the left bar, change the text as well as the button sizes, and align them as you want. If you want to change their color, you can click on Style and go to the Color section to do that. You can also move any container as you wish or click on the X icon to delete them. To add a new section, you can click on the plus icon above any of the containers and drag your widget there. Or click on this plus icon to select a structure. I can choose this two-framed container and click on the plus icon to add a widget. You can search for a widget you want in the search box on the left, or scroll down to find the exact one you need, and you will find a lot of options there. Let's choose a map widget for this and drag it to the canvas. Then I can repeat the same for the second block, and choose a heading to add an address in it. And if you want to edit any box like the address of this map, you can simply click on the pen icon and a panel will appear on the left for you to edit it. So creating your website can't be easier than this. Just make sure to click on Update at the bottom for your changes to reflect. I will go back to the dashboard and if you want to add a new page, simply click on this blue icon and you will be given three options on this pop-up. You can either choose to build the page from scratch or select from their pre-made templates in different categories, including portfolio and blog. Or simply clone a web page with the first option by inputting the URL and a title. So to demonstrate this, I will go to a site I found here and copy the URL then go back to paste it in the box. A check mark will appear, noting that it's ready to clone it, and you can then add a title and click on Recreate. 10 Web will then go ahead to recreate the web layout for you, but one thing you must note is that the web page will inherit the header, footer, color, and font style of your existing website you've already created. This may not be the case if you clone it at the first step I showed you when we started creating the website earlier so you will find it on your dashboard with the name you gave it ready to be edited. I'm asked to log in to view the website, and if you also see this, you can come back to the dashboard and click on Edit on the block that says your site is locked, and copy the username and password to paste it on the pop-up. The reason for this is that 10 Webs allows you to build your website, but it can't go live for others to see or get indexed on Google unless you either start your payment or point a domain to it on your free trial, which I'm going to show where to do that in a bit. So let's look at the page we cloned. As you can see, it recreated the layout and added the same images, and you simply need to edit it to fit your brand. There are texts here, for instance, but it makes them white color while on the original page they are black. But pretty much every other section, including their layout and images, were cloned accurately while retaining the look of your website, as I said earlier. To edit it, you can simply click here as we edit other pages with the 10 Web Builder and you can start changing the texts, colors, and sections to your likings. So on this block, for example, I can just go to the Style tab and click on Text to change the color from white to black. Now back to the dashboard, you can see the plugins available on your website, which include the ones that make the creation possible. And you can also see the themes here, including the default ones that came with WordPress. To add your domain, you should go to the Hosting section and you can click on Point Domain, and you will be able to add your domain name by following the instructions. Now, if you need help at any time, 
You can chat with the customer care here, and when I asked them questions earlier, they replied to me in under a minute, which is pretty impressive. And you can also click on this book icon to read the help guide, which will suggest a relevant article. For instance, we are on the domain tab, and it suggests guides on how to point your domain, which you can follow to do so. We've been on the 10 web dashboards since, but you can access the native WordPress dashboard by clicking on this WordPress icon, and you will see the familiar WordPress interface. You can go to Pages, and you'll see all the pages we've created, including the one we cloned, which you can, of course, edit with the 10 Web Elementor Builder. If you come to Appearance, you can see the themes we are using, including the default ones we saw earlier on the 10 Web dashboard. The same thing applies to the plugins, where you can add other plugins to add more functionalities to your website. To create a post for your website, you can come to the Posts tab, which is where you will write articles or blog posts. Now, this is different from pages we've been creating all these while, and it is one I couldn't find a way to create directly from the 10 Web dashboard. This may be because you will essentially want to write your blog post with WordPress block editor called Gutenberg, and not with page builders like Elementor. But the option they gave you here is the AI Assistant, where you can generate outline, intro paragraphs, and so on, similar to AI writing tools you may be familiar with like Jasper. So I can add a new post to the website in the post section, or click on edit on the existing one to write the article. This will open the Gutenberg editor, and I will add the title and the outline we generated from the AI to begin our article. You can then click on the plus icon to add a paragraph and start writing your blog post. I will click on update at the top and click here to view the post, and you will be able to see your blog post on the front end. This placeholder you see here is for the featured image, which I will go back to show you where to add it. And this is it on the right bar here, you just need to add an image to it with the right dimension. 10 Web is definitely a faster way to build a WordPress site, and if you want to try it out yourself, you can use the first link in the description below and see how easy it is to build your website. If you have any question or comment, drop them below and let's chat. And if you learn one or two things from this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digital Sculler. Watch this video to see how to create YouTube videos fast with a free AI tool, and thank you for watching.